Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you some books that I've bought recently, some that I've been anticipating for a while, and I cannot wait to start reading them. The first book is Unspeakable by Abby Rushton. This sounds really good from what I've um, researched. It is about two friends that meet together at school. Megan, the main character, doesn't speak and she hasn't spoken in months. She makes friends with Jasmine, who is really outgoing, is very talkative, and that's what helps Megan to talk again. I love the cover, I have to say. I, the cover's just beautiful. I am really excited to read it. The caption on the front is, some secrets are too dangerous to be told. There's gonna be some hidden secrets in there. It sounds really interesting and I was really intrigued and it got some high ratings. The next book I had on pre-order, I was anticipating this for a while, but I haven't got around to reading it yet. This book is Etherworld by Claudia G Gable and Cheryl Clam. The first book was amazing. That one was called Illusion. I was blown away by it, to be honest. I could not put it down. So excited to get into the, the sequel. I think it's gonna it's gonna be very different from the first one. I think it's gonna completely change. Illusion left off with the main character being stuck with her boyfriend, I think, in the world. There was a big cliffhanger. I knew it throughout the whole book. I was just like, I know it, I know it. Just tell me, tell me I'm right. I'm excited to see what this um, holds. I hope they get out of Illusion, but um, yeah, I'm excited to read Etherworld. Next book is The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. This sounds amazing. I was so intrigued by this. I really love dystopian and contemporary books. I have no idea what kind of the plot line is. I just like to pick up some books and sometimes to and just go in without knowing what they're about. I think there might be some death in this. I think there might be some tears. So I will have my tissues ready. But I'm excited to read this one. The next book is also a contemporary. This one is The Secrets We Keep by Trisha Lever. This was on my um, to buy list for ages. The date just kept being pushed back and I was just annoyed because it sounds, it sounds absolutely amazing. I do know, unfortunately, that one of the sisters die right at the beginning. It's basically, that I think they were, they were both in a car crash and when she woke up, people thought that she was the other sister and so she had, she, automatically kind of pretending she was the, her sister and she begins I think she begins to find out some secrets about her sister that she didn't know before it's really interesting it sounds really interesting and I'm excited to read it and it's it's got really high rate like really high ratings so the next book is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard and power is a dangerous game this book is about silver blood and red blood the silver bloods are the royals and the blood the red bloods are the commoners. So yeah, reds are common commoners ruled by a silver elite in possession of godlike superpowers. So the silver bloods are basically royal and they have powers and they are just basically seem to be higher than everybody else. There's a girl called Mare and she is a red blood but discovers that she has godly powers. So it it's gonna cause some kind of contention. Sounds a bit like Katniss, you know, she, she kind of changes up the system. And a bit like Triss from Divergent. So I think it's gonna be something like that. I like the fact that it's got a royal family in it, or at least, um, you know, silver bloods and red bloods. I just, I like the sound of that. I like how there's gonna be different between society. It's not so dystopian. I think it's gonna be very fan fantasy kind of themed. I am really excited to read this now. Next book, I, I already know the author and my dad was able to get it signed by the author because it's one of my, fa it's one of our family friends. This book sounds, sounds really, oddly strange but very interesting i guess th these books all sound in interesting to me so otherwise i wouldn't have purchased them Th thrax forder a game of paranoia i like that because it kind of rhymes and this is by julian falkett and yeah it's just it's his first first debut novel he signed it and written me a little note inside there's two katie enjoy reading this let me know what you think 
best regards, Julian Pocket. I'm not so sure about the um, the way the layout, the pages look. I do love the cover, however. It kind of looks like a novella, but it, it is a novel. I'm thinking it's going to be a very quick read for me because of how, how um, spaced out the words are. And there's not so many words a page. I will get around to it as soon as I've got around to some of the other books, sequels I want to read. So please hold on, Jolien. I will review it. I am excited to read it. Cyber thrilling adventure, but murder mystery. Oh, there's a murder mystery, part and part romantic comedy. Oh, well, that that is that sounds really interesting. Part action adventure. Oh yeah, it's got everything I like. So I'm 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 looking forward to that, and I really want to get into that. I really want to read it so I can review it for you. The next book is Magonia by Maria Dav Davana Davana Headley. Maria Davana Headley. I think I got that. I'm just gonna say this out right now, but this cover is amazing. It is beautiful. Can you see that shimmer? It's like a shimmer. Even the stars are like shimmering. I love this cover, and that's what that's what got me intrigued to pick this up. So again, this is another book which I don't know anything about and I can't wait to get into it and see what it is about. I'm just gonna check. Oh my gosh, yes. I knew it had. Look at that cover. It's like, it's got the feather on the front in, indented. You might not be able to see that, I don't know, but, and then you've got, oh, it's just, I love covers that have an imprint and indentation. I am very excited to read all these books. If I'm right, I think this one has an indentation. Yes, it does. The last time we say goodbye it does have an indentation. It's got the um, sticky note on the mirror, but it's on the cover there. The next book is a fantasy. Seeker by Arwen Dayton. The truth will end them all. And it's got this nice sword. I think I read the sneak peek of the first chapter and they're like dueling. It's based in Scotland, which I was really intrigued about. I, I don't really know much else about this. Um, on the back though, it does say, after tonight, there is no going back. There you go, we've got another indentation. Look at that sword. Ooh, look at that. I didn't even notice that. That's so cool. Next book. Ooh is Snow Like Ashes. I didn't read the blurb, but it does have another caption. It says, a heartbroken girl, a fierce warrior, a hero in the making. Can Myra, Mira, save a world she's never truly known? The second book is coming out. I know the cover and the name has been released. Any of you guys um, like to smell new books? I love the smell of new books. Even just books in general. It's just, I'm just weird, aren't I? I'm excited. My TBR list is getting really long now. I love having plenty of books to read and entering new worlds. So, yeah. Snow Like Ashes, you better be good. In fact, does this have... Yes, it does. This is what I'm on about, guys. I love getting hardbacks that are that have, like, indentations. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. The next book was also a pre-order and it arrived this week. This is the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series. That is The Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. This book series I found a while ago and bought the first book but never got around to reading it. And the second book came out, so I that, and the third book came out, and now we're on the fourth book, guys. I really need to get around to reading this because everyone, everyone I know, as soon as they start reading it, they are hooked to it. They are glued to it. I think there's going to be six books in the se the series. And don't she just look badass? Like, she's like that on all the covers. Let me show you the other covers. you got Throne of Glass there. She's got some, like, two knives. Hotter than home games. Really? Crown of Midnight. Again, with the two swords. And one just, like, swooshed over her head. The Air of Fire. I love the dress she's wearing in this one. That's really pretty. Yeah. Then the new one, Queen of Shadows. No masters, no limits, no regrets. Oh. I'm really, really, really excited to read them. And then the last book, this is my most anticipated book of this month. Although it did come out in April, I think it came out on April the 28th, I haven't really got around to buying it, to be honest. It's been on my wish list for a while. I finally had the money to purchase it. And this book is... That is 
An Ember in the Ashes, a novel by Sabah Saba, Saba Tahar Tahar Hahn. But I do know this has already got a film contract. It's already in the process of being filmed and this sounds very similar to one of my favourite book series which is Legend by Mary Lou. She is such an amazing author so I'm hoping Sabah Tahar Tahar is very good at writing as well. I just love Legend and I recommend to all of you out there to read the Legend series, it is amazing. But yeah, An Ember in the Ashes. It says, I will tell you the same, the same thing I tell every slave. The resistance has tried to penetrate the school countless of times. I have discovered it every time. If you are working with the resistance, if you contact them, if you think of contacting them, I will know and I will destroy you. <laughs> so good it sounds so good i'm literally so excited leia is a slave elias is a soldier neither is free oh. when i say it sounds like legend it's because i think one of the two characters in here is part of like a poverty um kind of like one of the commoners should we say one of the lower class and then the other um character is part of the like the elite the part of the government side of the city but yeah i'm really excited for all of these books so I, I love books guys seriously i do i really really do just cannot wait okay enough of me that is the end of my book haul thank you for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel and comment below it would be so appreciated if you could give us any ideas for videos because we will do them we want you to pick and choose what you want us to do so it can be absolutely anything literally anything within reason of course but i will see you guys next video bye annoying don't know what to do with it right and then whoop um so yeah arwin arwin elias uh il el l l sarah rush rush i really cannot pronounce names today throne of glass whoops uh saba tahar to her tahar 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 to her